Salutrians, first on the North American continent. Who were the first Americans? Siberians who crossed the Bering Land Bridge or Iberians from Spain? For decades, liberals in the U.S. and Canada have pushed an agenda of multiculturalism from the classroom to the boardroom. Using the media and academia, cultural Marxists have promoted a narrative that Europeans were late arrivals to North America. They have promoted the belief that ethnic Europeans have no legitimate claims to these lands. They have denigrated Italian explorer Christopher Columbus. They have largely overlooked Norse explorer Leif Erikson and the first settlements in North America by Vikings in the 11th century. Only the so-called Native Americans are the true indigenous people of the Americas, they claim. Multiculturalists emphasize the Siberian migration from East Asia 15,000 years ago. They have largely ignored alternative migrating routes. But the facts are increasingly running against their narrative. A growing body of archaeological evidence points to an occupation of the North American continent by Europeans 23,000 years ago. The Early Europeans Neanderthals roamed Europe from 500,000 to 39,000 years ago. Repeated waves of early modern humans migrated west from the Middle East starting 300,000 years ago. The Cro-Magnon emerged from the east 60,000 years ago. Neanderthals went extinct 39,000 years ago. They were likely outcompeted by Cro-Magnon's advanced weaponry. Cro-Magnon gave way to the Gravatian culture 30,000 years ago. Mammoth hunters that lived in caves and rock shelters, carving sculptures, Smithsonian. Solutrians branched off to the west from Gravatians, occupying Central Europe. A glacial maximum occurred 25,000 years ago. Pockets of Solutrians survived in southern France and on the Iberian Peninsula. From geneticist Johannes Krauss, during the last glacial maximum, human populations survived from southwestern Europe associated with the Solutrean culture, followed by the Magdalenians. Pockets of Solutrean populations. Researchers have theorized that some Solutrean populations may have been trapped by the glacial maximum. They were forced to take to the sea. Quote, human beings learned to sail 50,000 years ago. Mankind settled in Australia, not linked by any land. Clearly we had mastered sailing tens of thousands of years before America was colonized, end quote. Dennis Stafford, Smithsonian Institute. The European and North American land masses were greatly expanded when the Salutrians set sail. Sea levels had been reduced due to the ice in the North Atlantic. So, the trip for the Ice Age explorers across the Atlantic would have been much shorter. Their boats were covered with skins and waterproofed with fats. Ice Age Columbus, Discovery Channel. From virginiaplaces.org, Dennis Stanford and from the Smithsonian and Bruce Bradley from the University of Exeter proposed a theory of immigration from Europe via the Atlantic Ocean over 20,000 years ago. Continuing, Salutrian hypothesis is based on the Clovis-style points manufactured in the Loire River area in France, using overshot flaking technique for processing stone into tool. Quote, Salutrian spear points, some of the finest points of the Paleolithic from 25,000 to 19,000 years ago, end quote. James Dilley, Ancient Craftsman. Archaeology professor Tom Dillehays, quote, Salutrians likely paddled from Europe and arrived in America thousands of years ahead of Western migration. The evidence is building up, end quote. 
1974, a ship named the Sinmar was trawling for shrimp off the Maryland coast. They reeled in a mastodon skull with tusks and other items. Local scientists radiocarboned the tusks. They were dated to 22,000 years ago. The skull, tusks, and other items, including a spear point, were donated to a tiny museum in Virginia. They were put on display and largely forgotten about. Darren Lowry, a graduate student in archaeology at the University of Delaware, was doing some research at the museum. He saw the spear point tucked away. He said to the curator, Dennis might like this. The spear point was passed on to the Smithsonian Institute. Paleontology director Dennis Stanford was overjoyed. Similar spear points have been found at dig locations in Pennsylvania, Virginia, and South Carolina, carbon dated to 16,000 years ago. The discovery of the spear point in Virginia is proof that Europeans reached North America. But after that, all evidence of them vanishes. Did they journey deeper into the New World? Narrator, PBS Nova. In the 1990s, a rancher in Central Texas found some spear points on his property. He alerted the local university. Archaeologists launched excavations in the early 2000s. Archaeology.org. Archaeologists have found stone tools including projectile points, blades, and flake tools at the Galt site, dated 20,000 years ago, thousands of years earlier than Clovis spear points. National Geographic photographer Kenneth Garrett, quote, when the boys in Texas start finding artifacts older than Clovis, heads start turning, end quote. TSU archaeologist and Galt project leader Michael Collins, quote, Maritime adaptions happened in both oceans. I think it happened first in the Atlantic. You have peopling of the Americas in both directions, and they meet in the middle, end quote. In 2006, researchers at White Sands New Mexico National Park spotted some animal footprints embedded in an ancient lake bed. Excavations in the area began. More animal footprints were discovered in 2009. Then in 2019, they discovered human footprints. Ancient grass seeds were buried at the same level as the footprints. They were able to date the grass seeds to 20,000 years ago. From the National Park Service, the latest research shows that humans have been living in North America and Tularosa Basin for at least 23,000 years. It was previously thought that humans arrived in North America closer to 13,000 years ago. But the skeptics, often called Clovis Firsters, wanted more evidence. Many had staked their reputations on Beringians first in North America. Arizona State University professor Vance Holliday proclaimed, quote, it's a tough case to make. There's absolutely no evidence, end quote, for Salutrian hypothesis. Jennifer Raff, Kansas State University. The notion that ancestors of Native Americans were not the first people in North America has great popularity among white nationalists. Neanderthal expert Rebecca Ragg Sykes, quote, more white supremacists tweeting me with Salutrian hypothesis that North America was European first, end quote. Las Cruces News, October 2023. Further evidence points to footprints in New Mexico as oldest sign of humans in the Americas. National Park Service, likely the oldest direct evidence of human presence in the Americas. A finding that upends what many archeologists thought they knew about when our ancestors arrived in the New World. Researchers used two more additional materials for dating, conifer pollens and quartz grains. This confirmed the original dating of 22,000 years ago. Thomas Stafford, an archaeologist from Albuquerque, was a skeptic. He now says, quote, if three totally different methods converge around a single age range, that's really significant, end quote. Jocelyn Solis Morera, Popular Science, 
Not only does this mean humans were here during the last ice age, but it also could change what we know about the first people that came to North America. Popular science links to archaeologist Paulette Steves. Her site prominently displays Solutrean spear points. Steves, quote, White Sands Footprint Site is a great addition to the record of early people in the Western Hemisphere. Quote, this was groundbreaking to the archaeological community and it was also a tough pill to swallow, end quote, says Kathleen Springer, a research geologist for the United States Geological Survey. From science.org, Bente Philipson, archaeologist at the Norwegian University, says the newly presented data quote, strongly indicate human presence in the Americas around the last glacial maximum, end quote. And there are strong indications that the genetics evidence confirm the archaeological discoveries. According to PBS, award-winning geneticist Mike Brown made a quote-unquote shocking find. Some Indian tribes had a genetic marker indicating significant European admixture. Brown suggested the Euro admixture could be as high as 38%. Stephen Oppenheimer, Oxford University, quote, the mtDNA X2A evidence is more consistent with an Atlantic route suggested by the Solutrean hypothesis, end quote, Reuters. Solutrean hypothesis confirmed by the archaeological evidence, confirmed by the DNA evidence. Thanks for watching y'all. Stay tuned for more in-depth coverage of the Salutrians. Remember to hit that like button and please pass this video on to others. Take care.